so I, I do apologize. I've been running around like a, with, a, with my chicken, you know, like a chicken with a head's head cut off. So I apologize. Uh, Plexus uh, 314 says refinishing bed equals um, as the layer of the ABS builds up, parts stop sticking. Ooh. Um, At that point, I soften up the acetone. Just a quick mm -hmm. thing to you guys watching and any people re-watching this, Hutchison has been overwhelmed. He's getting emails like every five seconds sometimes, it seems like, from all over the world. If any of you backers in particular, any of you Kickstarters, can't get through to him, feel free to email me directly. Um, yeah, I'll you know, you can put it up there. Okay. Yeah. Um, Uh, and you can be sure I answer my emails every day. I just, I, I don't know, that's my habit. And I'm, I'm in the luxury seat to be able to do that. He sometimes can't get to all of them. It just, um, he sits there at his computer until he frogs at the mouth and literally goes into some kind of epileptic email, uh, email indulgence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he's still typing. I have to so kick him out of here because he says I get to do one more <laughs> tonight before I go and I throw him out the door so yeah. uh, it's not from lack of effort he's just very busy I on the other hand get to play golf every day and oh wait no I don't do it's I not, it's not golf it's close yeah, I don't okay. need to play tennis every day I know it's all good all right um let's see what he says because this is really good information from Blake it says uh we finish the bed uh it says if the layer gets a little bit thick then the part stops sticking at the point I soften it with acetone and then scrape it off use acetone to clean off down to the aluminum and start over building up the layer my bed is hardly scraped up just a, an early scrape before I figured out a system and you should make a YouTube video that is really good information mm -hmm. we'd be happy to edit it and stuff if you want to just get a little camera showing your little technique mm -hmm. um, that's that's awesome uh, did you ever find a box that can hold a System 30 in assembled or broken down form? The answer is yes, but it's a custom box. And we have a supplier for that custom box. And they're $13.85 a piece if I buy 100 of them. So um, we have some samples that have been made. Because the first systems are actually going to be hand delivered this n over the next 10 days, um, and we're going to ship a couple with custom cut up boxes that we've got going out to um, Less Music mm -hmm. and to Greg, yep. uh, who will be back uh, stateside with us, I think, in another five days or so. Yeah. And I hope he's having a, uh, mm -hmm. a good time. Yeah. He certainly deserves it. Um, ah, I like that one. Uh, next question was I uh, heard that canned. Air helps releasing from the surface. Oh, Eagle One J is not. It's Ken, is David. It? Okay, no. it's David. Yeah. Ken, if you're watching this broadcast, you're one of those guys also. So don't don't sweat it. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard the canned air helps releasing from the surface. Chilling the plastic makes it contract, and when it contracts, it pops itself off. Uh, there's actually some stuff called freeze it, but if any of you can get canned liquid nitrogen, that's actually the best. Uh, in my opinion. So, you, know, you can find us about a number of coolants that are coming out of an aerosol can. It's better if they don't have Freon, you know. Okay. Well, I, th I think they stopped manufacturing that stuff, but anyway, Plexus says layer by layer I am uh, talking about this layer of ABS that builds up on the bed. Okay. And you'll do the YouTube video for next week. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> You have liquid nitrogen at work? I do too. <laughs> we have our 20 liter doer in the other room. I used to, to actually have to put PFA inside of a P TEF cell coated uh, aluminum and we would th drop it in the liquid nitrogen. It would shrink right up, drop it in the hole, hit it with a heat gun and it would just <laughs> swell up and make an unbelievable seal. So it was good stuff. Um, good. Uh, any progress uh, for Powers USA? Uh, any progress on accessory prices, tramming yeah. kit, etc.? Yeah, I believe um, we, we went through that. We have the individual pieces priced out, but now it's a matter of putting together individual packages and uh, then pricing out those particular packages. So that's the next. That's the next step.
Oh, I thought so. that was already denoted there. No. That's, well, I sat in a meeting where we had the prices, so I'll go talk to those guys. Again, too many emails, so you guys talk to me a little bit more. Give him a chance to get this pricing done. Okay. Plexus says, I invite you to pop over to uh, printerboxtalk.com and check out forums. Lots of interesting uh, issues and ideas from their uh, from printer box owners that might be relevant to any 3D printer enthusiasts. Thank you. Thank you, Plexus. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure, it's a wealth of information. We we don't necessarily lurk in, into the uh, printer bot or, or maker bot or any of the other bot guys, but we do use the Google search engine significantly when we're looking for answers. And yeah, we do actually. I can remember looking through some of the maker bot forums um, uh, with some of the questions that we had. Although I, I got to tell you, I didn't find the answers I was looking for in, in all but one of the cases. I think in one of the cases I did uh, get a very good. Um, explanation of why different materials um, had to be printed at different temperatures, what their experiences were. And that that's really comes back to a nice little matrix saying this temperature, this feed rate, um, this slicing, turn the fan off in the room, uh, things like that that will help you get better results. Mm -hmm. Egoin says, I think our rolling dewars are 200 liters a piece, and the bulk is bulk tank is 100. Wow, 1,000 liters. Don't drink it. Uh, that's my first, you know, first advice. Don't drink the liquid nitrogen. No. We used to take it to the parties in college. Yeah. See, I worked at the University uh, Nuclear Chemistry Department, and we had to freeze our nuclear detectors, chill them down to get the electrical background noise down. So we had unlimited amounts of liquid nitrogen. So we take a thermos full of the stuff and pour it in the punch bowl. And of course, it will, you know, um, fog right up. It was fun. <laughs> also, dipping a racquetball in it was fun because it was, you know, <laughs> and then you hit it and it shatter. So that was good stuff. Let's see. I think the Hyrule 3D platform was a great upgrade uh, for someone that owns a printer in the printer bot class. Um, I know I am seriously considering an upgrade to the Hyrule 3D. Thank you. Thank you, Plexus. I appreciate that. We appreciate that. Well, if it's the right thing for you to do and we can yeah. help you, that would be great. We would love to talk to you regardless. So, uh, you Absolutely. know, just appreciate your input. Appreciate you coming online and asking questions and sharing. I mean, you. Yeah. This is what we, we love to do: is see see people sharing their experience and helping the other ones out. It's good for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, Eagle and Jay about the ice cream. Um, I may have to take that for a test drive when we come up. So uh, <laughs> my favorite strawberry, mm -hmm. and I expect it to be fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us how to make ice cream. You know, I don't think I can make ice cream on this printer. I yet we don't have the blender attachment right. No, we don't have the blender <laughs> attachment. No, it's all good. So we do have the liquid nitrogen attachment. So um, <laughs> so we've been on it for an hour. And everyone's probably wondering if we're going to print tonight. I don't think we're going to print tonight. No. Um, no. No. So I'll tell you guys what I was going to do. And then you guys will know how I feel. Uh, I had these half dozen printer heads that I was saying, yes, let's get and line them up. So we've lined up the printers in the room. I was going to try and get everybody printing at the same time. And then pan through the room. Um, no excuses. Just the print heads had to... Uh, They're not done drying yet. The RT, the RTD, mm -hmm. the that we use, um, takes thermistor, yeah. has been mounted, but the um, RTD wasn't dried out yet. And if I fire them up, they give off a ton of smoke. So I'm just going to let them sit overnight, and then that'll go. Um, could be that we show a little bit of something later on this week, mm -hmm. and uh, there you go. Fresh ice cream go to Bang Bangkok Central Mall. Uh, Jun Lee, you're absolutely right. And you know, since we we broached on the subject of ice cream, thanks to Eagle and Jake. Um, <laughs> as I was telling my little boy, the ice cream in Mexico is far better than the ice cream in America because they actually use real cows for the ingredients. Whereas here we have a picture of a cow and then some truck pulls up with a bunch of uh, unused cement mix. 
which they add to certain chemicals and you end up with some ice cream but uh, he's, he's correct the ice cream overseas uh, Bangkok I've had it there I've had it in Singapore uh, even China has better ice cream than we do if you can believe that so uh, Singapore has awesome food I mean I love going to Singapore their food you name it whether it's the satay out on the street or whether it's the seafood buffets where they look at me and look at Homer Simpson and think that he has got a twin brother. Japan was fantastic yeah, too. Yeah, but oh you can't, yeah. there is no buffet in Japan. No. Basically right. you have to show a picture of your house so they know that you can afford to <laughs> pay for the meal before they let you in the restaurant in Japan. <laughs> I'm sure I've told the Kobe beef story sometime or another on this broadcast. The only exception is ramen noodles. Yeah, those so, are cheap. No, yeah. I had sushi in um, Shinjuku. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. very reasonable. Mm -hmm. But that was back when the dollar was stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. If you guys have any other questions, uh, let's see. Oh, Barbecue says, uh, are you expecting to have engines with a beefier rail and touchscreen with uh, two thin print heads ready for delivery at the Maker Fair? Yes. Um, yes, the very first five are actually in the, in the other room. That's what we were trying to get to to show you guys tonight. They do have the touchscreens on, on them. Um, the wider rails or the beefier rails? Yep, they came uh, in. Uh, we got five from IKO last week and ten came in uh, on Friday. Yeah. So uh, IKO has been really good. They actually, we caught them we caught them because we hadn't given them an official purchase order for the wide rails and we made that decision about three weeks ago and as you know from the time frame um, and then they grab stock from worldwide locations and have been bringing it in and so from here on out they can handle 10 or more units a week so we've got the first 15 covered mm -hmm. there's another 10 that should be here on on Friday uh, of this next week and then behind that will be as many as we have upgrades that want them plus uh, all system 30s are going with wide rails we just we just I unilaterally made that decision I'm not it's not it's not an area to be cheap and I'm hoping that I can work with the guys who have the engines and you know if you're going to print little things it's not going to make any difference but if you're trying to print um, well we had a guy here on Friday who wants to print shoes if you're going to print something that large and you want the best possible uh, finish and everything you won't regret the the, uh, the small investment and if it's too much for you you call me and and we'll talk about it yeah I don't I, I just feel like it's a better way to go uh, Lord Davo will throw a fit because he's already got to put together and he's saying I don't want to take these apart and I don't want to put no wider rails on them and he's absolutely right but we're going to do what's right we're going to do what's best John Hubbard uh, says print some ramen noodles that's a very good suggestion mm -hmm. and a very dangerous one at that too so <laughs> part of you say just need to let my brother-in-law in Brooklyn know whether or not to expect me that weekend where like is he? He's in uh, Massachusetts. Okay, and he was so going to come down if we're ready for him. Yeah, or we were going to go up and see him. Oh, um, so let's confirm it next weekend. I mean, we can confirm it that far in advance. Yeah. Matter of fact, right, where where was he on the on the shipping list? Power USA. Huh? Uh, he was he. You know what? I apologize. <laughs> After all this time, you think we'd have a nice clipboard? We just pull it up and look at it. Yeah, we do it's a, it's, yeah. it's in the other room but but still that's where um, look let me be totally honest about this we're confused we're confused partly because some people haven't responded some people have responded we're shuffling the bills around a little bit so that what's already finished can be put into the queue and have the least amount of work the next one is is the workload for uh, tuning up the systems as they go and we're not without mind towards the maker fair so um, let us try to get our act together a little bit better in this over the next few days and we will absolutely tell you that the guys and the, oh I like this question mm -hmm. let me put this all in one yeah. sentence then uh, we will tell you who's getting your printer we will show it to you on the next live broadcast or it will already be shipped on its way or a few that will actually go out this week yeah. uh, and then uh, we will include the serial numbers to them because someone asked us are you going to have uh oh fun serial numbers no they're not going to be fun they're going to be serial numbers who said you could have fun with this uh um, that's 
on one of the earlier broadcasts, uh, you and Jay was talking about uh, how one of the other printer guys who were out there, and I know who it is, uh, you and Jay, who uh, instead of doing serial numbers, they did like a name of something with a, an animal of so, some sort and, sort of kind, and then some other, you know, like food, and that was their that was their serial serial number. Unfortunately, we're going for both ISO 9000 and CE certification, and I don't think they're going to really embrace that for us. No. Um, so um, we're going to go with a regular serial number, and um, we'll do something else that's fun, like print the animals. <laughs> so, a luring owl, <laughs> rabid aardvark. Nice. nice. Uh, thank you, Les, for sharing that. Yes. Low numbers. <laughs> yeah. Well, every, everyone in the Kickstarter is getting the top 50, so. Yeah. Or top 48, yeah. I think, yeah, top 48. But we don't have starting with from one. No. We have to puff it up a little. We'll probably start from like 50,000, something, something like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, make a look. You know, unit number 50,000 ships. That sounds great. We should do that just to shake them up a little. Ugh. Well, serial number 50,000. We can start anywhere we want. That's true. Wow. So, oh, <laughs> oh Les Music is just kidding. Oh, Les, <laughs> Les, we love you, man. Yours is, 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 is oh, you're going to like this. We have a local person who might be watching this broadcast. Oh, yeah. And if he does, well, so much for it. He's been a little bit... I'm going to say the word pushy about wanting to do sales for us. And uh, so he asked us the other day, what's the chance you're going to ship something by the Maker Fair? So I uh, teasingly told uh, Hutch to send him back. Uh, the, the odds are the same as the reciprocal of Avogadro's number. So I think he's still trying to figure out what that means. But we're, we're doing fine. Anyway. Yes, Les can have 2,001. And one. I like that one. Who wants 2,010? <laughs> that is mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, Les, I could have used your help. Uh, one of the things we fought the battle of, we put all of our software up on the repository, and I... Oh. What a nightmare this has been. Because when we don't commit right, uh, it's just writing all over everything on us. So I'm sure you have your uh, repository act all together. Now we've been doing pretty good, and we haven't lost anything. Um, it's a little bit of a pain, though. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when my, my stuff that works has been, like, whoosh, written all over. So we had to go back, like, three revisions and then start over again. Uh, on the bright side of the coin, I rewrote the code better than the first time, so that's a good thing. But uh, it's been tough. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. Let's see. Technically, we'll have uh, delivered several printers by MakerBot. This will be by Maker Fair. Oh, Maker Fair. Maker Fair. So. Greg. Preston. Yeah. Yeah, we, we could be at 13 by then. Yeah. Maybe even a little bit more. In those numbers. Mm -hmm. So. Cars USA says GitHub? Yeah. Exactly. We're using GitHub and we're using Tortoise Git. Um, and we're on a Windows system. And the only problem is, is that um, <laughs> he loses the bet. Oh, I don't know what the bet is, but uh, if we can get a piece of the action, let me know and I'll skew it one way or the other. Uh, he loses the bet. And GitHub, what, what's going on is, is when we go to uh, do a pull or a push, there's not a real good uh, understanding. And so, uh, like, we commit, and then the next thing we know, it's it's gone deep and wide. And some of the files apparently get tagged through different folders, and they all get simultaneously modified. So making a backup of something into another folder still gets addressed when you're doing the getting, and uh, at least that's what looks like is going on. So it's not safe thinking that you've got a backup in this file over here, and then it comes and undoes it. So it's uh, it's something we're working through. I guess it wasn't a bet. The guy that uh, oh was yeah no it's not a bet. Actually, he he wanted to do marketing for us, and uh, the problem is is that 
Uh, I wanted someone who could give me a plan with a budget, and that seems to be too much to ask, so we don't have a relationship. Um, we've been in business a long time. Whether we're good or bad, hey, you know, I'm sure we have our strengths and our weaknesses. You can tell our passion's real, and uh, we're incredibly optimistic at times, and we also know that developing a product is just you make a commitment, and you dive in with both feet, and you stay with it until you get it right. Um, when it comes to running a bigger business and trying to develop uh, something that competes with like a MakerBot or something like that or a Stratasys, I didn't wake up this morning needing to be a $200 million a year company. Um, what we want to do is we want to we want to make a, a great, a good product, a solid product, and we want to treat people right if we can. You, you know, I mean that's that's just the whole idea. And so far, it's it's going it's going the way we want it. Other than me being my usual tardy self. Uh, not because of lack of effort, just because of need to do it as good as we can. So, there you go. Barz USA asks, uh, using branches and pull request. Yes, off of, Git, off of GitHub. <laughs> and uh, to answer, I'm going to answer the Midnight Manufacturing Company's question. When can we get a leader described so we can print our own serial numbers? Um, oh, every, every serial number that we have that goes out, you know, being serious here just for a second, it, we we track it, guys. We have to have a, a running track of that, so it's part of being CE compliant. So but it's also part of handling the warranty and things like that. So yeah, our other products are all serialized, so for sure this one would be. All right, last second. Okay, yeah, I've heard of the, about these guys. I think you guys may have sent me a click on by. Okay. Jira, Confluence, On Demand, Stash, Marketplace, Fishai, Bamboo, Crucible. I have no idea what that's all about. Well, thank you for sending us the link, and we'll take a look at it. Oh, it's ten bucks. I can do ten bucks. Is it ten bucks? Well, I, I believe this is all on the cloud, though. I think they, they want you to have everything up on the cloud, and then you pay like ten bucks for a month or something like that. If I'm mistaken. Uh, we'll look at it. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Thank you. Someone, someone hey, told hey. me what they used, and they were paying an ungodly amount. It's like twenty-five thousand a year for it, and I'm not doing that. That's what I get my servers for. Is the real thing for wanting this up on GitHub or one of those repositories is so we can share major sections of the code with those individuals uh, that deserve it. I mean, you know, repeteers up there. We got it off Git. We need to share what we got back. You know, where it's appropriate. And so we'll do that. But to do that, we have to use a public source that's uh, fairly good. So uh, C source tree product free down free Windows uh, download get the uh, get get repo management. Nice. I don't like it. I will check okay. that out. And thank you very much, Powers yes. USA. Thank, thank you, thank you, powers. thank you for that. Mm -hmm. You can be sure we'll we'll look at that. Yeah. I see okay. midnight manufacturing. Why don't you come buy me lunch this week? There's a chance. <laughs> Matter of fact, why don't you go and print something on your printer and then buy me lunch? I, yeah. Uh, let's see. You sort of, uh, as you say, you sort are of uh, describing yourselves as a boutique product, high in quality and low, and low volume. Another boutique product I know of uh, randomizes their serial numbers so that there's n there's no sense of one serial number being uh, worth more than another. I don't see and those as being Jay Leno type collector's items. No. Uh, and we're not we're not trying to artificially pump up the value. Pretty much the parts that go in the machine are sweat define the cost of the machine. So uh, we're not worried about uh, 007 being a very special serial number. So. Actually, the parts for the volcanoes are on the way. They're in Good with the batch, or uh, someone asked if we're going to do the bu volcano, volcano before the laser. laser. The volcano parts, the production parts, are on their way. And uh, I have the 40-watt heater elements that go in it. Uh, we have the nozzles, and we have the bearings came in for the first 60 items. So, uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, emos, volcanoes, it'll be interesting to see who wants that, what they do with it. Mm -hmm. There's a part number. All right. Cool. Plexus says, then sell me uh, 00001. <laughs> hey. Okay. Just, you, just Skype me in the next 48 hours, and I'll do that. Because you were a Kickstarter backer. That's right. 
That's right. Eagle1J says, ooh, 007 would be an awesome part number. Yes, but that's... <laughs> if it ends with 007, yes, we could definitely do that. But remember, there's going to be quite a few... <laughs> Very nice, Eagle1J. Binary for A. Um, <laughs> yeah, 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1. <laughs> so, I like it. Yeah. I like it. So... We just have to make sure that the numbers that we have that are going to be going out to people are ones that's, that we can track. So that's not binary for A, or maybe it is if you're thinking in ASCII. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right. Oh yes, ah. yes it is. Okay, excellent. I was thinking in hex. Yeah. <laughs> We, we programmers do that. Picky, picky. I know. <laughs> 101. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, does anybody have any other any other questions? Um, let's see. Uh, we covered a lot of ground tonight. Well, no, um, we did. Not as much as I would like on the demo side, but... I know. But, but you guys did get to see the, that we're making progress on the prints. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm glad Hobby Lobby was able to sell this stuff to us. I mean, you can't believe how many of these they got sitting over there. Anyway, um, and, and I think that some of you guys see where we like to use the microscope more and more. Yes. And I think you'll find that as time goes by, some of you guys will uh, decide it's a worthwhile thing. It's going to be fun to see the, all the different uses and stuff. Look at mm -hmm. them. He's like to use, use microscope salesman tonight. And um, yeah. I'm not trying to be like QVC or whatever the home shoppers thingy is. I like it. But hey, I tell you what, as a parting shot, how about if I go grab one of the latest Mark ones with the small motor, which isn't tested. We just got the motors in. They came in with the shipment. They came in. It was with the bearings. They came in Friday night, um, <laughs> and that's why I was waiting for now. I just hobbed it up tonight, and. Uh, and we'll call it a night. How's that? Yeah. Oh, is it watertight? I don't know. Well, I guess the only way I'll go find out. Yeah. I doubt that it's watertight because I can. No, it's not watertight. I can tell you that right now. We didn't have the fill in the bottom turned up high enough. Yeah. Well. But you want to have the uh, hydrostatic pressure. Or the, hydro or the, um, I'm not going to do hydrostatic test. It's not a scuba tank. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, not the. Uh, my mind is mush right now. Um, <coughs> uh, what I'm trying to talk about is the adhesive properties or whatever of, of water. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, we uh, we can see light through it, but then again, you know, we can see light through basically just any one of these guys too. So this is the blue one, and the blue one, you know, turned out quite nicely too. So. The answer is the bottom's not, but the sides are. Okay. So the answer is the bottom is not, but the sides are. So service tension. Thank you, Powers USA. I cannot believe I cannot think about these things tonight. Ah. Thank you, Powers USA. Uh, let's see. Uh, many manufacturing company. Can you get serial number zero 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 zero? Um. Probably, but we're probably going to do something special for the Kickstarters anyway when it comes to serial uh, to serializing them. So, um, at the very least, you're going to be getting, uh, if I have my druthers on it, you're going to have KS somewhere um, on the actual machine by itself, letting you guys know that those who are Kickstarters get the Kickstarter uh, version. So, alrighty. Here, I'll go get here. You can have this one. You can just yeah. make them think that it looks good. Mm -hmm. So we were still putting this guy together. Yeah, it needs to connect to so the, the connectors, these guys right up here, are going to be going to the back, right up here, just like on the other on the other ones as well. And you guys could probably see right here. Yeah, the yeah, the back. There you go. I just wanted to see the two different size motors on it. Okay. There. So, oh, let me just like that. Yeah. So you can see that one motor is uh, significantly longer. longer than the other, and this is half the weight. And so, uh, 
we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed. I did a special hob shafting.